Let's look at the following use case. You have a captive portal. You also have a user group and a printer that belongs to the same LAN, but it just cannot authenticate through that captive portal. So you will need to accept it. Another thing, you are using Gmail and you need your Gmail session time to be lower than most of the other apps that you're using. So let's do it. So here's our topology. We have a LAN interface, which is at the 10.0.5.1. We will create a user group. We will enable captive portal on that interface, and we will create a firewall address object for that specific printer. Another thing that we will do, we will look at the application list and configure Gmail to have a lower session time to live. All right, so the very first thing, let's just create a user group. Let's create a user. Let's name our user test. And let's just create a password. All right, submit. Let's create our user group. Let's name it captive. And let's add up our user. All right, now the next thing that we will do is to configure a firewall address object. We will do it this time using the um, graphical user interface. So let's create a new address. Let's name it printer. Let's um, use the following address 10.0.5.2. 22 slash 32 and that's um that's it all right so now we have a new address which is our printer we will add it to our captive portal in the exempt sources so let's move to our interface that's our interface let's just add it security mode captive portal restricted groups our user group is the captive user group our exempt sources is the printer all right there it is okay so now we have a captive portal which allows the uh, captive user group to authenticate and for that printer it that it does not have to authenticate another thing that we will do we will create in our security profile application control we have already created a sensor which actually looks at gmail it allows it to go through but the session time to live which is a case that sometimes you will need on specific um, application is lower than the default session time to live all right now there are different places where you can configure your session time to live there's the system settings you can also do it on a firewall policy but uh, take note that session time to live on an application control list actually takes precedence over everything so let's look at our system setting config system session time to live let's use the get and here we can see that the default is 3600 second all right, so let's just get out of it. And now let's move to config application list. Now we have already configured uh, a Gmail application control sensor that looks specifically at the Gmail application. So let's just edit Gmail. Here you can actually set the session time to live. I have already done so. so Let's look at config entries and use the show command. And here you can see the unique ID and that's the session time to live for that specific application. Now you can use it on your firewall policy and users will have a session time to live for most applications, uh, which is 3600. But when they will uh, head over to Gmail, they will have a lower session time to live.